Hey everybody, welcome back. All right guys, so this time we got a piggyback float switch. Uh, now you can, it says on the front here, you can use this for replacements on your sump pump. Maybe it says uh, sewage system, so I don't know if you can use this outside. If you have like a well system for uh, like your sewage or whatnot for that. But it's, uh, this one here is pretty simple. It's just a single uh, float hooked to a cable and it piggybacks in front of the pump. Now I got a Zoller pump here. I'll put a picture of it up here in the... Uh, display for you here the switch on my pump went up so i bought one of the other pumps i'll put the picture of the other pump uh switch on here i bought that switch that switch lasted about six years seven years now the pump on the zoller switch to replace it you're gonna have to pull the uh pump some pump out of the hole unwire it and everything else plus it's like 75 dollars plus some change so it's probably gonna be up around 80 90 bucks once you get everything shipped and sailed to you mailed to you so um i used the other switch last time it's not working so we're just going to try this um uh, it's, it's a piggyback float switch and this is pretty simple and basically you would just uh put the float in there with a you know single wire tie get your level right and then um uh, just plug it in back behind your uh, sump pump um, now the first time my sump pump went up i replaced the whole sump pump and it was like 200 and 200 some dollars for a new uh zoller uh sump pump so like i said it's a little bit pricey we're going to go ahead we'll get set up we'll open the pit we'll take the old uh switch out that i had put in there and then we'll install this one and uh we'll go from all right, so the first thing you're uh, going to want to do is want to unplug everything. Like I said, here's the uh, back of the old switch there. And then there's the plug for your pump. Um, for this job, I, I got me a little uh, light light there, a little floodlight. And we got some uh, a couple different kinds of screwdrivers and then a cutter just to cut the uh, wire ties. But here's your uh, two pipes coming in. I got the bully dog system for when your power goes out. But mine, mine didn't even last maybe a year and a half. And... Uh, the controller went up in it but that's what this uh secondary pipe is it was from the a bully dog for the backup and then your uh your regular here so we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna pop this cover off and we'll start unhooking the uh old. all right so and we'll just pop this up uh, there's a better way better way i can get you guys a better angle here Uh, let me see. Let me bring you guys. Let me get the light set up. Um, real quick, guys, before you get started, as you can see right here, here's the uh, their old switch and stuff. Lots of cobwebs, but here's the uh, here's the old switch right here. And they uh, floats all the way up, and like I said, we don't have any power. Then there's the old sump pump down there. It's a little rusty, but uh, it still works. So we're gonna go ahead and let me. Uh, I'll set this thing back up on the camera. We're gonna. Uh, Probably cut this wire tie off and we'll just pop the uh, switch uh, float out. This is a really quick and easy. Okay, so this one here has just the single uh, hose clamp right here. Just going to uh, unscrew that. Let me see if I can get this light on this side. It'll be a little bit easier for you guys to see. Let's see what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of cobwebs down inside this thing here. bad angle here to try and do this with the camera kind of in my way here <laughs> yeah this switch here was like forty six dollars it was about ten dollars cheaper for the other one one was 46 and then one was 32 and i think we're gonna be better better off this way Sorry, so there you go. I'll just uh, 
said here's the old uh, switch that stopped uh, stopped working. I don't know why it stopped working. Maybe uh, probably take it apart. But this one here it just had the single hose clamp and it had these little uh, pieces right here that kind of like bit into the pipe so it didn't slide down on you. And like I said, I just got one single wire tie at the top, holding it on. Just cut that uh, cut that wire tie off, and we just feed the uh, feed the wire back through the hole here, top of the hole, the uh, cover here for you. Got that to switch out of here. Get the new, the new one out. Like I said, I'm not sure. Got to figure out where we're gonna oh, want to place this thing here. Cause uh, it just comes with the uh, one single wire tie, and it comes with this thing here. I'm not uh, not too sure what this is. Um, we can go ahead. We'll look at the directions afterward. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh twisty tie off and we'll see how far this uh, switch has to be before it'll uh, activate the thing so I know how far it's got to go down inside the hole. I'm going to go ahead and feed the plug uh, feed the plug back through the top of the cover here feed the plug back through there then we'll just like I said we'll just take the sump pump that plugs in behind it like that plugs into there and you plug that back into your uh, wall and then we'll just uh try to find the right angle here about and see what side what how much this comes on so let me go back down here and we'll just go ahead and, that's at halfway and then try to figure out how far the switch needs to be so that's 50 percent that's uh that's sideways and then we'll start and it's going to have to go basically almost straight up. And as you can see, it's going down inside the pit here. If you guys can see that or not, she's pumping away. So we'll see how much. All right, so we'll turn it off and we'll see how I put it. Put this float like that maybe i'll put the float in there and just uh, put the wire tie around it we'll leave it kind of loose like i said i want to try and figure out what way it's going to work the best this wire is kind of long i don't know if this switch is going to be exactly best for this, this is the cheap cheaper of the uh cheaper of the ones they had there so we'll put it like this i left about six inches on there let's let it uh I'll let it fill up and then we'll uh, see what happens. Pull all the slack through the top. Try to keep this up a little bit for you. Actually, I might slide this down a little bit more. Let's see if we can get it to come on. Actually, I want to turn it out this way too. Actually, I want to keep it right here if I could. That's still not coming on. Let's see how far we can got to go down in here before it comes on.
Try to get you guys in there a little bit with it. You can see what it's doing there. So I got it about yeah, about six six inches of slack as you can see right there. See, but I think it's gonna get pinned underneath the uh once it doesn't get pinned, maybe I can pick that sump pump and slide it over a few inches so the float can move up up and down behind it. So that's the only thing when you get these kind of uh, switches like this. You got to make sure you have the room. The other one was nice because it uh, bolted to this or it screwed to this pipe. So it really was a little bit easier to use. Like I said, this is a cheaper, uh, cheaper model. And look, it's already getting pinned under there. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to try and move this, uh, take this, pick the sump pump and slide it that way a little bit so that the float doesn't get stuck underneath the handle for it. And then uh, cut, cut back and we'll try it. All right, guys, so I took the sump pump and I slid it over that way, out that way a little bit. And I'm trying to see if there's enough water to actually get it down in there to make it come on again. Actually, it pumped down and there's really no water really draining in there. So let me go ahead. I'll just lift this float up a little bit higher. We'll get it to come on. I'll let it pump all the way down and see if there's any any water level below that. That needs to be, uh, see how far the uh, water level, see that there's a third pipe that's coming in down there at the bottom, see if there's anything coming in through there. Once we pump it all the way out. And just pump her all the way down. All right, that's good, and I'm gonna drop it. And the flute is sitting on top of the pump. That's the only thing I'm worried about is the, uh, the flute get pinned under there. I just want to make sure this flute's not going to get stuck. I might swing it out. I swing it that way, but it really is not a. Really don't want to put it there either. All right, so I think we're good there. I'm gonna have to. We'll we'll have to come back and uh, we'll check this tomorrow, and we'll see. Uh, how this float is. I'm just trying to make sure when this float when this thing fills up It's gonna actually gonna be able to uh, have room to come up. And it's not gonna get stuck on nothing All right, so as you see I had to do a little bit of work in here I had to cut that pipe back the pipe down there back and this pipe back because they were uh They were sticking out too far in the float switch and I also had to take the float switch I had the wire type down below and I have it wire tied on this uh the old flute switch where it goes down I have it wire tied to that because I couldn't get it low enough to where it would come up high enough to where it would make it so we'll uh we'll see how it works now with the new uh after I just cut that bottom pipe out All right, guys, as you can see, this is the final product. We got the, uh, just said the wire coming out there. I have a wire tied down there, and then just one little wire tie with it spooled up there. And like I said, you got it piggyback in behind that. That's, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, the other flute switch, I would have had this done in like five minutes. I've been messing with this thing for about an hour now, uh, just trying to save eight bucks. Uh, now I just don't know if it's worth it, but it's working now. But like I said, I had to play with it a little bit, but she's working. All right, guys, God bless. Thank you. Stay safe and have a great evening.